In this code segment, we shall take a look at the working of the increment and decrement operators in C programming language. The increment and decrement operators are going to be both prefix and postfix type of operators. So what I have done is I have defined an integer variable i, j is assigned the initial value 2 and k is assigned the initial value 2. Then what I have done in the first one is I have said i is plus plus j plus k plus plus. Since this is a prefix increment, the value of j first becomes 3 and adds to the old value of i which is sorry adds to the old value of k which is 2. So 3 plus 2 is equal to 5. So i is equal to 5. But the, after this semicolon, the value of j will have become 3 and the value of k also will have become 3. Now what I am doing here is, here I am assigning i j plus 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 k. So since both of them were 3, okay, so what is happening is this is a pre-increment. So this is going to be first. So what is going to happen is, first pre-increment is going to happen. So from 3 it ends up becoming 4. 4 into minus 1 becomes minus 4. Okay. And since this is a post increment, so it is 3 minus of, sorry, it is 3 plus of minus 4. So the answer of i is going to be minus 1. Now, j also has become 4, k also has become 4. All right. Now in the last one, we are trying to modify the value of k twice in the same expression. In cases like this, a good number of compilers will warn you that the value of k is undefined or you're going to get unexpected results or you're going to get results which are going to be different on different compilers. The reason being C has a rule. If you modify the value of the same variable or memory location more than once in the same expression, the result is dependent on that particular compiler or hardware. So here in my case, what happened is k plus plus k was 4. So it is 4 plus 4. It ended up becoming 8. But it just happens to be 8. But on some other machines, it could happen to be something different. So please do not try to do something like this, trying to modify the value of the same memory location more than once in a single expression. So what we can do is just to verify our thesis, we can go ahead and try to run this particular program. So if you do k plus plus and plus minus minus k and if I click on run of run it, you will notice what is the output. So as expected, the first one gave us 5, the next one gave us minus 1 and the last one gave us 8. But be sure this is not going to be 8 on every machine you are going to encounter. So the moral of the story is please do not try to change the same memory location or the same variable more than once in the same expression.